Update, the stars have aligned. For those of you who don't know, I've been going back and forth with Nickelback on TikTok. We got some beef and uh, Chad Kruger accepted my chat off. <laughs> And it just so happens that today they're shooting a music video an hour away from me and it's an open invitation to the public so you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna crash it. <laughs> and you best believe I'm gonna be taking Chad to burn the other Chad to the ground tonight. This is the fit today. You better take a photograph if you want it to last longer. Bye, little floof. I will be back. I won't be far away for far too long. Well, first we gotta stop for coffee to feed the machine. I'm the who's standing in lines for overpriced coffee. That was the last one, I swear. Amber, who do you think's the better Chad? Chad Kroger. That's not what I paid you to say. Pretty little lady with a pretty big thong. If she could daddy hitting on her all night long, doesn't care about the money she could be with anybody. Any funny other honey wanted you all alone? Okay, we're here. I can sense Chad in the atmosphere. I can feel it on my pit vipers. I have infiltrated the premises. They give me a full access pass. <laughs> They're putting me in the music video. Look at this. <laughs> Your services are no longer required. Can I please have the sunglasses? So that's it. She's singing. I'm out. Yeah, man, you've been out chatted. Give us the glasses. You can take my spot in the van, but you will never take my sunglasses. Get on your knees, baby girl. <clears throat> Mommy don't know daddy's getting high. <laughs> At the party shop, <laughs> doing something unhealthy. Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Oh, honey, I hear you and your feelings are valid. I want to understand why you're feeling this way. Why don't we go get an ice cream and we could talk about it? If you don't stop crying in two seconds, you're going to be standing up with a car ride home if you catch my drift. That's what I thought. Mom, can you buy this for me? Oh, well, right now we can't get that, but maybe we can wait for your birthday or for Christmas. How does that sound? Mom, can you buy this for me? No. Your dinner, sweetie. Um, I actually don't eat gluten anymore, Mom. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, but now that I know, I will go do some research and see what other options we have, okay? Here's your dinner. Um, I actually don't eat gluten anymore, Mom. The f did you just say? No, you can't go to your friends because you didn't finish your homework. Well, I'm gonna call social services. Okay, let's take a breath. You sound like you're feeling stressed out. Why don't you go get your homework here and I can help you as much as I can. And then maybe when you finish it, you can go to your friend's house. No, you can't go to your friends because you didn't finish your homework. Well, I'm gonna call social services. Oh, okay, okay. What, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just calling them for you. What? Is that all right? No, I, there you go, it's ringing. No, I take it. Okay, fine, I'll do my homework. That's what I Good morning. Good morning. Um, come here. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Oh, good morning, beautiful. Oh, dear God. What? Your breath smells like ass. Oh, come on. Oh, God. It smells like a raccoon with gangrene crawled into your mouth and set up camp in your back molars. That was a bit dramatic. You know, I never wondered what the inside of a dying whale would smell like, but now I know. I sympathize with Jonah. Okay. Hey, you wanna... Oh, um, I haven't, I haven't shaved, so I don't... Oh, no, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Hey, you wanna... You know? <laughs> yeah, sure, but you gotta know, I could braid what's going on down there. So, like a film location scout came by the other day, and that's where they decided Jumanji 3 is gonna be filmed. 
it's elaborate. Little known fact, Guns N' Roses based the song Welcome to the Jungle based on what's going down in my basement quarters right now. Great, because that is no land I refuse to conquer. And I'll bid you the best of luck, sir. I'll see you on the other side. You're a great man. Why did we turn Scottish? I don't know. I kind of want to watch Braveheart now. Same. Same. Yeah, I can go over that right now. I got the popcorn. Okay, ready, Colby? Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby. And we're here to- Dude, that cat ball went off! What? 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 If there's a spirit here, make a sound. <gasps> Dude, did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I farted. We've been told this is like the spookiest, most haunted place in the house. So, I'm check it out. Don't close the door, Colby. I won't. Don't, dude, 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 dude. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway through the video and... Buy the merch! Buy the merch! Buy the like the, merch. the video, buy the merch. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, pose. That's hot. That's hot. <sighs> We got Colby here, doing the Estes method. Is there any spirits here that want to talk to me? Yes. What do you want to say? You're a little bitch. <laughs> Hello, my little ravioli, my tortellini. Oh, hey, Ma. Hey, oh, no, no. It's almost noon, and you're still in your sweatpants. Riley, can you tell your Nona it's a Sunday and we're having a movie day? Mom told me to tell you that it's Sunday. Can you tell your mother that I just watched an eight-part series on Netflix about how screens rot your brain? Nona told me to tell you she watched an eight-part series. You want to tell your Nona to repeat the sentence she just said and realize how backwards idiotic that just sounded? Mom told me to tell- Tell your mother we forced her to go outside, rain or shine, until the sun went down and look how she turned out. Nona said- You want to tell your Nona I got bullied every day by the neighbor kids because she stuck me outside and that's probably why I have trust issues and social anxiety and need to go to therapy on a daily basis? Tell your mother back in my day we didn't go to therapy, we did the healthy thing with our feelings, the three B's, beat down, bury and bottle. That- that doesn't seem healthy. Can you ask your Nona why she's even here? Tell her I'm here because I wanted to ask if you guys want to go to the movies with me. I, you tell your Nona. I... Well, that was rude. Hey. Hey, uh, do you have an extra- Nope. I didn't even get to- No. Now... I just wanted I just to know if you- Can, Can I, I just-, just... Ha... Okay, I'm leaving. No, no, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. All right, I'm done. What do you want? What do you want? I was gonna ask if you had an extra charger. Oh, yeah, I got an extra charger. Okay, thank you. What? You said you had an extra charger. Yeah. Well, can I have it? No. No. You're not even using the charger. Yeah, I'm using it to charge your mom. We have the same mom. You're an idiot. I'm done. No, come back. Come hang out. Come hang out. Come on. I'll give you a charger. I'll give you a charger. Here. I was just joking. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Bitch. I tell you, it is so nice getting all the kids together again. What's new with you guys? Not much. I quit drinking, so. Oh, that's great. How long has it been? Today. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, what happened? Who broke the lamp? Nobody. Now, kids, honesty is the best policy. If you're truthful, we won't be mad. Really? On God, go ahead. I use swear words on the playground for street cred. Th that's not what we I periodically mean. sell our mother's household items to fund our stock market investments. Duh. I knew we were missing a chair. What? We use your Netflix account. What? Last summer I jumped off the roof because I thought that I was Spider-Man and I accidentally landed on the family cat. Oh, whiskers. I thought he ran away! Coyote came and scooped her up before we could bury her in the backyard. Oh, sweet baby Jesus! I'm gonna start drinking again. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. Did you put Jessica in the car seat okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. A positive. Maybe I should sit back there with her, I just... No! Alright, all packed up, ready to go. Yep. Yeah, oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Oh, we got the floaties, towels, beer. I think we're good. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Let's go. Christina's not in the car. What? Oh, shit. Uh, 
You're the oldest. She's your responsibility. This is on you. All right, all packed up, ready to go. Let's hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back. Let's do it. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, my God. What was that? That was Jacob. What? You're okay. Walk it off. He doesn't walk yet, Kara. Still? You left him on top of the car. Hey, this is on you. Hello? Okay, this is how men see me. <laughs> that explains so much. How women see me. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, mate. This is why I'm single. How my friends see me. <laughs> what have you done? I found a hammer. Yes. It doesn't work for everybody. No. Oh. What's the point? <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I have a little story time for you guys, a little cringy story time about how I am in the wild interacting with people. So I go to Starbucks and uh, the girl that hands me the drink is very cute. I get a little flustered, but she gives me a compliment, which was her first mistake. And she says, oh my gosh, I love your headscarf. It's so cute. And I said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days. I didn't say, oh, thank you. I'm actually wearing it because I haven't washed my hair. I just said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days, period. Full send myself off a bridge. And then she said, okay. And then I, I followed that up by saying, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> and then she said, oh. And then I just piled on that and said, but yours isn't. And I meant, to, like, your hair isn't greasy. And that's just, the compliment would have been, your hair looks nice. But I just basically said, your hair doesn't look like a bag of shit. Um, so I am going to be single for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to stop interacting with human beings. All right? I'm about to take a walk in New York. And I'm going to narrate some pigeons, all right? Hey, how you doing, beautiful? I haven't seen you around here. You need somebody to show you around Central Park? Are those feathers real? Come on, give me a smile. Give me a smile. Would you f*** off? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't need that kind of talk around here, all right? I can find a lady anytime, anywhere I want, all right? Your wife's got a nice beak. Are you talking about my wife, motherfucker? No, get back here. Get back here. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah, whatever, Let me talk man. To you for a second. It's not worth it, Angelo. No, no. He's not going to get away with this. Get back here. Can we just drop it? Yeah, yeah. When you're done with your husband, I'll meet you over at the Euro stand. I'm out. I'll deal with this guy, boys. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you pushing up on us, all right? All right, F you. We don't gotta deal with you. You know who we are? You don't even wanna know who we are. I got a buddy up the block who knows a guy who will break your f***ing kneecap, so don't mess with us, all right? Watch your back, buddy. <sighs> okay, I got my headphones, my stun gun, my bear mace. Does this work on people too? Probably. And do I need this? little overkill never mind okay all right run time i got my headphones in music on okay it's gonna be sunset soon so this has got to be a short run oh i gotta take one headphone out too to hear any potential approaching threats sick it's gonna be dark soon nobody's gonna be out here i'm gonna go for a scump on this run hell yeah let's turn this music up yes, is that truck slowing down why is it slowing down oh my god i'm gonna be on dateline shit is that truck slowing down weird oh they probably need my directions hey man Oh god, another run is approaching. I gotta not breathe so loud. Hold it in. Oh yeah. Oh god, a man is approaching. Okay, what was that self-defense class I took three years ago? Oh look, a woman runner. Okay, I gotta seem not creepy, not intimidating. Here we go. Okay, not creepy. Hey. Oh god, that was so creepy. Oh god, it's so creepy. I'm going on star power mode. Oh honey, look, it's a fin guy. That's fun. I've never heard of that before. I didn't realize that that was here. Hey, honey, honey. You need sunscreen. You need sunscreen. We need to reapply. It's only, it's been 30 minutes. Oh, what is that one? Is that Bavad? 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. If you can't pronounce it, you can't afford it. Hey, hey. Sunscreen time. Sunscreen time. Oh, honey, it's gutchy. 
Oh, that's interesting. It kind of sounds like a another word for a vagina. Balenciaga, what the hell is that, sweetie? I think it's a type of fitness class. Oh, I ain't signing up for that boy shit. Oh, honey, I got a lot of swass building up. I got a blot. Oh, look, it's a Prada. I've never seen that before in real life. That's that's nice. So when do you think this thing starts, huh? I don't know, but do you think I need to reapply? Oh, Versace. That sounds like a type of pasta. Is that a type of pasta? Let's take a photo. My hat away. Hi guys, so I know most of you know that I've been struggling with recovery and mental health a lot lately. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I just do for me that really help ground me and make me feel good about myself. So come with me to see what I do before I start work. First, I make my third cup of coffee of the day. Don't worry, this one was decaffeinated, I just lied. Then I look in the mirror and do my morning affirmations. You are not a piece of shit. This was supposed to be a joke, but that actually kind of felt good. I highly recommend. I wanted to make and eat one of my fear foods, if you will, on my own. But then I went to my pantry and realized I didn't have any syrup, which I think is punishable by death in Canada. So I ordered IHOP instead. And this is something I actually loathe doing, but I'm going to make my bed. I heard somewhere, like, if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind or some bullshit like that. And not going to lie, it, it actually kind of works. It makes me feel more at peace. Who's your daddy? Cue two camera angle transition moment. Slay. And it's still early, so I decided to paint a little and put my coffee down and forget about it and need to microwave it later. Painting is something that's always been really therapeutic to me, and I can kind of just turn my brain off, which is really nice. And I listen to, like, really nice, calm music while I do it, too. Now it's time to feed the chickens! I got watermelon that's kind of going bad in my fridge, so I'm gonna go feed the ladies. Anything to do with animals, whether it's Kevin or my chickens or whatever, just always makes me feel better like no matter what and i love just being outside in general but caring for these little ladies is a bonus for sure i forgot the watermelon was bad but anyway i hope you enjoyed my little self-care video i know it's not my usual content but i challenge you to do a little something for yourself today too okay bye beautiful sorry i'm late to the potty mm -hmm. oh no worries come on in who is that woman i don't know but i'm gonna find out where is everybody mom oh hey mom where is she? Mom! What? Riley, have you seen your mom yet? No. Where is she? She should be here by now. Maybe what? let's ask this extremely attractive woman. Da, miss, do you know the location of our other mother? Uh, are you guys serious right now? Mom? <laughs> Riley, that is not your mother. <coughs> Holy shit. What do you mean? I am not going to lie. I did not recognize you. Yeah, you look stunning. I did not realize she had this much potential. Da, it's like she leveled up to an upgraded skin. Da, reconfirming my suspicions we are living in the simulation. Hey, beautiful, I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Ew, Chad! Janet! Hold it, did you change your... everything? You all suck. I'm gonna go talk to your mother. Riley, can you get off the iPad and help me clean up? After I'm done! Excuse me? After I'm done. Did you think that was a recommendation? No, do you think I ever spoke to you, Nona, that way? You did. Literally all the time. Ma, I'm trying to teach you how to not talk back. Oh, what, by lying? For heaven's sake, your favorite word to use as a kid was fuck. Ma! Fuck! Mm hmm. No! Oh, God, it was always fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, you know? <laughs> oh, my. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But how about you tell her how you punished me after I did that, okay? Tell her. Tell her how you beat me into next Tuesday every time I did. I would never. What do you mean you never did? You did it every time. I do not recall that. Are you serious right now? I think you hit your head too many times as a kid. You're just making stuff up now. You were the one that did it. Okay, you need to calm down. Yeah, Mom, just chill the fuck out. That's on you. I don't... Okay, so your friends are Stefan and Steven? Yeah. So my gay friends Steven and Stefan are in town, and I figured I'd introduce them to Chad because I need a little free entertainment because watching Chad interact with two gay men is single-handedly the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. Chad, this is Steven. Hold on. Absolute pleasure, darling. And his boyfriend, Stefan? Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Super cool. Ah, uh, so you two... You two are together. Yes. Yep. 
And that's awesome. That's aw congratulations. That's stellar. Thank I'm you. Super nice stoked for you. I'm here for it, and I'm queer for it. Is is that? You know when you're watching a toddler skate for the first time and he just keeps falling over and you should probably help him, but it's kind of funny just to watch him fall? Jazzy toddler. And I think it's great that you're riding that gay train, guys, because I'm in that caboose, you know, just pumping my fist in full support of your gay train ride. <laughs> All right, then. Not that I want to ride your train or in your train. Um, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> I'm just shoveling coal in the back into the engines of your love, you know? I just want you to know that. So. <laughs> I think Chad might be a little gay. Definitely gay. Can you hold the elevator? Damn it. Close, 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 close. I'm coming. Come on, close, you piece of shit. Woo, made it. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's no problem. Great, alone in the elevator with a man and my phone's dead so I can't even look at it. Oh my god, did he just check me out? I mean, he's kind of cute, I guess. Oh my god, what if we got stuck in the elevator and we talked for hours and we fell in love? <laughs> oh wait, what if this is like a Ted Bunny situation and he's super cute and charming at the start but then takes me back to my hotel room and has his way with me and then takes my head as a souvenir? Oh my god, he's not checking me out, he's sizing up his next victim! I have to fart so bad. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool. Okay, let's just look at our self-defense save TikToks on our phone, okay? F it's dead! Ooh, hold it in, buddy. What the f*** is that, these? Oh, I'm done for. Of course this would happen to me. I can't just have a nice meet and cute. I gotta get stuck in the elevator with a guy that's gonna eat me out Jeffrey Dahmer style. Maybe if I just let it out in little increments. Oh, and I had half a cake left in the fridge. This is the worst day ever. Nope, almost shit myself. Oh, thank God, it's almost at my floor. Okay, get ready. Just a couple more floors, big boy. Oh shit! Close, 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 close. Hey guys! Hey! <laughs> I got a new outfit, and I just—does it look okay? I'm not sure. Like, I think it's cute, though, right? Couldn't you decide on just one color? <sighs> Girl, that face with that suit. Okay. Um. You look great, Billy Blue Dean. <laughs> Okay, okay, um... Oh yeah, is this what you wear to slop the hogs with? <laughs> I'm gonna change. <laughs> ah, what happened? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, Mom, it's just a little cut. It's fine. Oh my... You need stitches! Stitches? What's going on? What? No, no, it's fine. It's small. It's fine. Oh, it's all my fault. I should've splurged. You got the Costco knives. These Walmart ones are slippery. I got... Where's the first aid kit? Dad, we don't need a first aid kit. Then your great aunt Linda cut her finger just like that and then it got affected and she died. Who? Exactly. Oh my god, you guys, it's... Is that an ambulance? What thank you, in here, fellas. Oh, thank god. Seriously? Oh! What happened? I cut through my finger! All right, well, walk it off. Uh, walk it off? What is going on in here? The queen of drama. Uh-huh. Oh, can you still move it? Are you really trying? Yeah, I'm trying. Rub some dirt in it, you'll be all right. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm really upset. Um, I got my hair done. It's short, it's the shortest it's ever been. Um, which I'm not upset about that, I, I love the hair. I just forgot to make a really cool transition video. So I'm just gonna give you a really, this is, this is my hair. This is my, it's a proper pixie. I'll show you the sides. Very aerodynamic, feeling good. Show you the back. Don't even gotta pay for it. It's nice, isn't it? It's low maintenance. Not a lot of mileage. It's like selling a car. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I like my hair. That's it. Hey, uh, could you pass me a banana? Why do you have to do that? My anime. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. 
be like, what? We're all grown up now. We can just talk to each other and be mature about it. We're, we're be grown ups about it. You know, we could we could stop with all the childish antics and just get along and not just waste time doing stuff that we did when we were kids. We could we could actually have a relationship now. You could you could hand me that banana with without saying anything in retaliation. Just here is the banana. You know. Okay. Okay. Here is your banana. Thank you. See, isn't this nice? See, isn't this nice? Okay. I didn't wash my hands after I peed, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> you look like you belong in a one-hit wonder Y2K boy band, by the way. At least I don't look like you. At least I don't look like you. Douche nozzle. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? No, definitely Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Christina Lee Hallowell Collins. Oh, that's full name. You're f***ed. What did you do? I, I don't know. Christina. Shit. <laughs> eavesdrop? Eavesdrop. Did you skip class yesterday? Uh. Oh, damn. That's right. She did. Oh, shit. Got two options here. She can deny, 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 or plead guilty and cry. Yeah. Yeah. As long as she doesn't. Are you dumb? I would never do that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's like rule number one in mom's courthouse. If you attack, you get whacked. Yeah. What a dumb ass. Wait, wait, wait. I don't hear the wax. Jessica Leanna Hallowell Collins, get down here. Is she calling a witness? She's calling a witness. Oh, no, man. I don't need the time for this dunce last month for not snitching on her. Now, you got this, man. Get it together. <laughs> I can't go back there, man. I won't be able to DM Jason on MSN. Jessica! <laughs> you can have my Tamagotchi. Really? Sick. This is not a coincidence. It's not the algorithm, okay? If you're coming across this, you need to hear it. This is divine energy, okay? Spirits, tell me what they need to hear. Oh, half the deck, okay. Ten of spades. Ten of spades. This means he is thinking about you, okay? He's thinking about you. He does not talk to you, but he's thinking about you next. His name might be Jack, might start with a J, maybe an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, O, Z, but could be it. Ace, he is the one. He's the one you've been waiting for, and you need to wait four years. Just go wait four years, love, and like the video, and also contact me uh, privately to get a private reading. And, oh, 11, 11 on the clock. I don't know what that means. I'm done dinner. Okay. Uh, you didn't finish your water. It's gross. What do you mean it's gross? It's water. It tastes like nothing. Exactly. What's the point? To live. Me. Okay, well, lucky for you, I got you an air up water bottle, and all you have to do is get a scented flavor pod, put it on like so, and then pull it up to activate it, and then when you sip it, it'll taste like the flavor pod. No, they. Oh, is that peach? Uh huh, and I have a bunch of different flavors too, so you. Did you like it? Yeah. Great. More water. Uh, more water. In my air up bottle. More water in your air up bottle. No. No, you know what? One bad little time. So what did you want to tell me? So keep this to yourself, but I think I might be moving to a different city. What? Why? There's just more opportunity and it's only an hour away, but this is super early stages. I don't even know yet. So just, just please keep it to yourself. Oh, well, okay. Okay. It, where are you going? I'll be right back. Okay. You're moving? Abandoning your family? Dad, I, I just kid. Grandma? No, I'm not moving. Why should I turn on the TV? I, this thing on. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, my daughter is, is moving. She's breaking apart this... Sorry. Thank you. She's breaking apart this family. She's outside the house. I'm just going to leave it open to questions. Anybody? Yes? Oh, my God. Hey, you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Uber, Ben. Sick. <sighs> Way added. Uh, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Are you a valet at a Best Western? What? No. A two-star restaurant DJ. A <sighs> couple years ago, but no. You seriously don't know what I'm doing? Oh, oh, I know. You work at Subway. No. Oh, now I'm craving a tuna melt. <sighs> I'm going golfing. Oh, never would have guessed that. What did you think this giant bag of clubs was for? 
I figured someone owed you money. What does that even mean? Yeah, I carry around a bat for the same reason. Whoa, whoa, okay, relax, lady. I never tell a woman to relax, especially when she's wielding a bat. Okay, jeez, take my money, okay? I'm leaving. I'll get another ride. But... Gotta take this out more often. What are you looking at? You think if I threw this cup hard enough, I could hit that guy in the head? No, why would you do that? I'm not going to, I was just asking. That's weird. Why are you staring at your fork? I feel like this pickle's probably the same texture as my eye. I could just take this fork and, you know, pick it out. Like a grape. Oh my god! Are you okay? What? Oh, I just imagined slipping on this towel and caving my head in with the shower handle. Why? Sick. There. What are you doing? Now I won't. I think there's an extremely high chance that would never happen. But there's always a chance. Okay. Chris. What? There's something behind you. Shut up. Today we are in Seguin, Texas at the historical Palace Theater. H.A. Daniels built it 1947. This is the third theater to be on this site. First one was in 1915. Second one was in the 1930s. And then this one was uh, built in 1947 by my dad. There was a, a girl and she was holding somebody's hand and she, she got hit. There's something behind you. Shut up. Hey, okay. you guys following Jay around when he was here? This is the first photo. What is that? Yeah, there's something there now. Mm, not. You know, like, oh my god. Is the man here with us now? He's here. He's here. Don't look. Yeah, it's all we're thinking. Yeah, it's all we're thinking. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, good morning. Mind if I grab a sip of your coffee before I head out? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you, baby. Okay, kiss. Bye. Bye. And hey, I love you. I love you too. I love you more. Back up! Oh my god, I almost dropped my coffee. <laughs> Ow, but you didn't. Hey, bring it in, bring it in. Uh <laughs> Oh, I need a sip of that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. All right, I'm gonna head out. What'd you drop on the floor there? What? I don't know. Uh <clears throat> I'm out of here, short stack. Love you. Love you too. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. Okay, don't freak out, but I got some tattoos. What? No. <gasps> See, they're small. They're small. They're just. They're just little, right? They're cute, right? Oh, no, honey. Like the Kardashians say, you never put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. Well, I don't know if you've noticed this, Mom, but I am not a Bentley, okay? I am a mentally ill, used-up Toyota Corolla who abuses the speed limit and forgets to change her oil from time to time and has been in one too many accidents and has to put bumper stickers on it to distract from all the dents on the outside. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm just gonna go get another tattoo. No! Okay, I need to squash this debate I'm having with somebody. What do you put on first when you get dressed? A shirt or shorts? Ooh, shirt, for sure. Mm, definitely shorts. Yeah, see, I'm either or, but it's usually a shirt. Yeah, fair. Socks. What? Socks, I put my socks on first. What? That's insane! You're saying when you get out of the shower, the first thing you put on is socks? Yeah. That's ridiculous. If anything, it's the least ridiculous. What are you talking about? You gotta keep the outer extremities warm. On a cold day? Socks, then gloves, then hat. What? The only way that order of getting dressed makes sense is if you're a fucking starfish. Starfishes don't wear clothes. Oh yeah, what about Patrick from Spongebob? Oh yeah, he's the smart one, right? No, Patrick's the dumb one. Oh right, the dumb one. And what clothes does he put on first? Shorts. Exactly. This is how I believe Australian conversations go. Oi, where's Dad? Oh, he's on Chad's dick. He's on his dick? Yeah, mate, why? What about mum? What about mum? Well, where is she? Well, dad's on somebody else's dick. What do you mean, mate? Mum's out on Chad's dick too. What do you mean? Yeah, mate, I was thinking about hopping on Chad's dick too. Oh, fuck me, I need a beer. Babe, you ready to go? Yeah. I'm ready to go. You wearing that? 
What's a new cardigan I got? Do you not like it? No, no, no. You look beautiful. Let's go. Okay. Okay, baby, you ready to go? Yeah, ready to go. You sure about that? Yeah. Huh. Well, I just got this new cardigan. What, you don't like it? You're beautiful, but it's giving, I don't want to miss the 4 p.m. senior supper special because bingo's at five. Okay. Is it time to switch to transitional lenses now, too? It's big talk coming from a guy in socks and sandals. Hey, these are Birkenstocks, okay? You look like Adam Sandler. And you look like you grew up watching cartoons that wouldn't see the light of day today, so. I love you, let's go. I love you too. Oh, you forgot something. What, what'd I forget? Your walker? Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, in a kilometer, get in the right lane. Perfect. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Ah, uh, we passed it two exits ago. What? Let me know when the exit's coming up. In 3.5 kilometers. Oh, okay, cool. 3.4. Okay. 3.3. I got it. 3.2. You don't have to- 3.1. Shut up! You might want to get in the right lane. Oh, is it coming up? Yeah, in about 30k. When's the next exit? Right here. Oh! Is the next exit coming up? Uh, I'll keep going, a couple exits. Oh, is that what the map says? No, but it's fine, I got it. Okay, that's great, but what does the map say? It doesn't matter, we don't need it, I know where we're going. Yes, we do! No, we don't! I'm pulling over! Hey, I'm gonna go grab some coffee, maybe go to the mall. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. What? Uh, are, are you busy or something? Yeah, kinda. I have a project I'm working on right now. Oh, well you can do that later. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I'm broke as shit right now, so. No big deal, I'll pay for you, so. Really? Yeah, whatever. Thank you, man. That's really cool of you. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just finish this up and then we'll go and... You don't have any friends. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Alright, go by yourself then. I don't care. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Let's go. Only if you buy me a new outfit. Fine. Y'all like the first couch hella roast and I'm still sick. Let's roast some people. I don't know anything about fashion. Evan Mock is looking like if Adam Sandler appeared on an episode of Duck Dynasty. Glorilla is glowing on the top and clowning on the bottom. Emma Roberts forgot her outfit, so she went to the H&M sale rack to find one last minute. Miss Bell will be hosting an 80s Tybo workout class after the first performance. If you're from the southern states, you should probably check your mom's closet because Bad Bunny probably raided it and took a piece from each one of her favorite sundresses. I've been wondering why I haven't seen Barney in a while and Justine Skye is making me suspicious. Absolutely no notes. These women could pour hot coffee into my lap and I would thank them. Lil Nas X absolutely slaying in the Celt, but I'm a little confused about the Lululemon jacket. Pink Panther S, the 2000s called, and they're just as confused. Kendall Jenner looks like she's about to take a planned paparazzi Whole Foods trip to get a picture of her eating dairy-free pistachio ice cream. I don't think I'm legally allowed to say anything bad about Emma Chamberlain, so slay. All that's missing from this outfit is an actual horse. Here's my audition. <laughs> yeah, so this is the house. It's great. Then, oh, this is Kevin. Oh. Yes, my name is Kevin. I'm four years old, and I'm a super good boy that likes getting pats on the head. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? What was that? What? What just happened? Oh, Kevin's just just talking to you. <laughs> what? Not because I'm a super good boy, and I really like talking and chasing balls around the house, among other things. <laughs> what? Stop doing that. This is just Kevin's voice. Dogs don't talk. Kevin does. No, he doesn't. He's a dog. You know, oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. What the third problem? I don't know. Hey, there's some pizza downstairs. What? What is it? Is it the pants? Is it the... I know it's bulging a little bit here, but it's it, it's it. Do you like the pattern? I just got them. You don't... Is it the shirt? Is it... I tied it in the back. I thought that was okay. Is it... It's too Y2K, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And these, these jeans aren't doing my ass any favors. I know. I know. My ass isn't that flat, is it? No. You think it is? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should, should I change? Should I change? This is dumb. This is a dumb outfit. I'm, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. I should, should I change? Should I change? Okay. Yeah. I'll change. Christina? Yeah. What's up?
tell the truth. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's modern. Don't lie. I'm not. I look like a pencil. You... You don't look don't like... Don't a... laugh! <laughs> it's OK! It's not OK! I'm going to lose my job! Don't lose your job. It's cool. It's not cool. It's edgy. Oh, fuck off! Oh, it's cheap. It's unsalvageable. Claire is French. Really? Yes. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes, please, sit. What's wrong with you? I'm afraid I'm not privy to what you're talking about. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what, exactly? Like you consume tea and crumpets on gold plates served by people that cannot speak unless spoken to. No! <laughs> well, that's just silly. Nonsense, really. Nonsense? You sound insane! Quite the contrary. So do you think that you sound any different? Like you're speaking in a completely different accent? You don't think that? I believe this is what I am meant to sound like. And if you do not, I would be happy to let Robert escort you out that door. Have you been watching The Crown? It is a possibility, yes. So good, right? It's so good. On today's episode of Let's Let an App Tell Me Why I'm Single! Oh, did I get an answer? You go. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, and I was just like, Excuse me? Oh, my goodness. What? You totally looked and sounded like mom when you told that story. Oh, no, I did not. You're doing it again? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, what do you think of this new little sculpture I got? It's kind of funky. <gasps> what do you think about that one? It's pretty nifty. Oh, oh my god. Hey, don't you go using the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Hokey Dinah. Hey, loser, it's been a while. Hey, you look like shit. And you smell like shit. Ah. <laughs> Mom's losing it lately, eh? Oh yeah, she's off a rocker. <gasps> she's crazy. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm back! <gasps> Oh my god, I missed you! I missed you too! You look so pretty! Come here! No, you do! Come here, I missed you! Gross. I just threw up in my mouth. I just, I don't think I can be without him. I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> You're right. I am a strong, independent woman, and I don't need anybody to tell me that. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, right. My biggest pet peeve is when you're walking with your friends and they can't keep up. Like, hello? <laughs> okay, everybody's just doing it, so I might as well. What are my red flags? We No, they're not. They're cute. Who doesn't? Yeah. Why is that bad? I'm a busy person. Fuck you. Christina? Christina! Christina's gone. So nothing bad happened? Mm-mm. You, you didn't wreck it? Mm-mm. You didn't hit anybody? Mm-mm. You didn't run anybody over? Mm-mm. You didn't get a speeding ticket? Mm-mm. Wait, Jeffy? Mm -mm. Why are you making that face? Mm -mm. Jeffy, did you get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Jeffy! Okay, well, that's interesting. You know why? Why? Because... Peter, the horse is here. So what do you guys do for fun around here? I don't know, sometimes we throw shit at Kevin. Who's Kevin? Kevin! Until the point okay, that I'm not done okay. talking yet, you will speak when I'm done. Oh, Ooh, honey. Girl, okay. security. What if, and just hear me out for a second, you shut the f She even asked me for the time. No way. Way. <laughs> All right, we're here. Who's ready to hike? Oh man, these trees are just gorgeous. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Parkour! <laughs> we should do this more often. Why don't we do this more often? I, I, I don't know. Why don't we do this more often? I just feel so connected out here, you know? Do you feel connected? Yeah. I feel connected. How you doing? I'm good. I can go for like, like four more hours. Easy. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. She's gonna take a quick water break. Just a quick water break. She's gonna take a quick water break. Oh, oh, What's oh, wrong? Oh. Oh, I tore my ACL. Right now? In middle school. It's just acting up. God damn it. I think we missed a turn. No, we didn't miss a turn. I know exactly where we're going, okay? You don't need to question me. I've walked this a million times. Didn't we already pass this tree? 
Oh, God. I think we're lost. Yeah, that's what I just said. Shh. Do you hear that? What? Is that a bear? What if we do if there's a bear? I, I'll Google it. I'll Google it. There's no service! Good job getting us lost. You know what? If that is a bear, all I have to do is outrun your swollen feet, okay? I'm pregnant. Yeah, and whose fault is that? I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should get back with Doug? No, 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 okay? You're missing the point, okay? Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the Hollister model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, bacon soda, a six-pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a whirlpool fridge. Oh my god. What I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see. I see. Okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge, what is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm hmm Oh, I wish I was a lesbian. But I just can't wrap my head around the regime. But I guess I did once when I came out with my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them, and you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? Good boy, good boy. Oh, one second. I don't even want to know. Oh. Get ready to lose. Let's do this. In what world is Game of Thrones better than Breaking Bad? My world. You're insane. Would you slow down? I'm dying. Oh, here. You can have some of my water. Is it flavored? No. I'm good. Why? I don't like plain water. So you'd rather get dehydrated than drink plain water? Yeah. With that logic, you like in Game of Thrones more than Breaking Bad makes sense now. Okay. Oh my god. Would you just try it? Okay, Arab uses these scented flavor pods. So when you activate it and sip it... It tastes like what the flavor pod smells like. I don't buy it. I gifted one to my mom who hates drinking plain water and she loves it. Okay, try it. Oh, God, fine. It's pretty good. I know, because I'm always right about Air Up and Breaking Bad. Give me that back. Hey, well, can I have it? No, but you can get one for 10% off using code GAME. Can't check out. What is this, an ad? It's an ad. Oh, honey, I like the new hair. It's very funky, very fresh. Thanks. Yeah, very dope. Don't say that. Okay. Knock, knock, kiddo. Mom told me you got a new hairdo, and wow, that's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you doing okay mentally? Yes. Well, then I think it's great. Oh, your hair's so cool. What are you gonna do, copy it? No. Oh, okay, thanks. Wow! Excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt your mission, Agent Romanov, but you're looking fine as chilled wine in the summertime. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Hair's cool. Wait, really? Do you mean that? Yeah. Thank you! Okay, I have not been sure because everybody's just been giving me mixed signals, and this, and now I know. Now I know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> your outfit looks 
it's done now. Okay. Riley! What's this about? I need you to help me fold this line. What did you say? I said, what are you on about? Why do you sound like that? What's wrong with what I sound like, eh? You come in here and disrespect my family, my blood, my heritage. Heritage, your entire family is from Boston, Massachusetts. You're lying. Why would I lie about that? You have the audacity to lie about Santa Claus being real. Who's to say you didn't lie about me not being adopted from across the pond? You think I would have picked you? I think this conversation is over. What has gotten into you? Riley, the next episode of Peaky Blinders is coming on. Let's go. Oh, figures. It's you. What did I do? You have Riley watching R-rated TV shows? It's educational. How is it educational? Talk me way out of folding the laundry now, didn't I? What? Yeah, so next time you think about what you say to the Peaky f***ing Blinders. No. Too much? Too much. Okay. <laughs> Nice shot. Yeah, good shot, babe. You get another one now. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, don't worry, babe. You can try it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, she can't. Dude, chill. That dude chilled me. That was a scratch. What, we're just giving out pretty pity girl passes? Bro, this is her first time. She's never played before. Give her a break. Oh, and I've never skydived out of a plane before, but you think if I forgot my parachute on the first try, I could just slap down an Uno reverse card on that shit? No! There's no rewind button on the game of life, man. Only play. And maybe pause or fast forward if you're under the influence of certain substances. This isn't skydiving, bro. This is pool. She can go again without any deadly consequences happening. You sure about that? Yeah! Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what? Let's just start Derek Jeter throwing rules out the window, right? Let's just start robbing banks, you know? Lighting cars on fire. Sleep with each other's moms. Or whatever. Do you sleep with my mom? You know what, man? Just give her another turn. I think it's fun. Okay, what's something that's gross that tastes delicious? Say it on one, two, three. Hot dogs. Cottage cheese. Sam's mom. What? Oh, cottage cheese. See, it tastes good, but I'm a texture person, so I just can't. Can we back up for a sec? Did you just say my mom? True, but if you put it on toast with tomatoes and avo like Sam's mom does, don't even notice. That's a game changer. Good one, Sam. Yeah. What? And hot dogs are delicious. I don't give a flying fudge knuckle what anybody says. Right? And everybody's always like, do you know what those are made out of? And I'm like, I don't care. Put it in my mouth hole. Enough about the hot dogs. Can we talk about what just happened yeah. here? I don't care if it was made out of Sam's mom's luscious hair. I would still eat it. Straight up. Ugh, got such a craving now. Same. Deborah, man. <laughs> did, did you get with my mom? Whoa, bro. You sound insane right now, dude. Wild. But you said Sam's mom. I didn't say that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> did you? For real? Hmm? Are you f***ing with me right now? Dude, yes. Calm down. Your mom, on the other hand. Your hair looks really good. What? Oh, oh god. No, no, no. I have, I have not washed my hair in, in several days. There's so much dry shampoo and hairspray in there that if you flicked on a lighter within five feet of me, I would spontaneously combust. C come to think of it, I haven't showered in, in several days. I probably smell disgusting right now. I, I, I shouldn't be in public right now, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I am genuinely sorry. I have plagued you with my feral existence. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I think you smell fine. Listen, if you're looking to do charity work, go down to your local food bank and shove soup in Oliver Twist's mouth, not compliments into mine, okay? That was too much. Too much. Yeah. Riley, we got- What the hell is this? I am currently concocting a Wixers in the toilet. Why? No, thank you for asking. I have currently developed a keen interest in alchemy and the mystical sciences. Oh. Yeah, and I'm using the toilet as a vessel for my concoction, so at the ease of one flush, I can send them out into the universe. Oh, uh-huh. And what will that do? If my calculations are correct, and I believe they are, it will make all the bad people in the world dissipate into sparkly dust. Oh, is that why you added my brand new highlighter into the mix? Well, how perceptive you are. Yes, that is correct. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, and after this, I was thinking of doing my own interpretation of the Sistine Chapel featuring the cast of the Paw Patrol and permanent marker on this wall. Uh, counter-proposal, you draw it on paper, and then we put it on the wall. <sighs> You're really pigeonholing my creativity, but I, I can do that. That's great. Would you like to do honors? Sure, why not? We did a good thing. That highlighter was $50. It didn't look good on you anyway.
You good? What? Oh, no, I was just thinking how easy it would be to cut the tip of my nose off. <laughs> oh my god, why? I don't know, intrusive thought. Oh, okay. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, with pretty much everything and anything. Really? Everything? Okay, what about that sink? Put your hand in the garburetor and flip the switch. Okay, uh, what about the water bottle? Oh, that's easy. While you're drinking it, I just punch it into your mouth. Okay, uh, what about the countertop? Oh, come on. You walk, you trip, you bust all your teeth out on the corner of the counter. The cup. <sighs> Drop it on my toe, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, here's a hard one. A pillow. Oh, please. Two words. Suffocation device. Wow. Okay. So you have these thoughts, like, every day? Yeah. And you want to do them? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. But you think about wanting to do them and it happening. Exactly. Are you okay? No. No. Okay, I have a huge announcement, and I know I kind of keep you guys in the dark with my personal life, but I'm I'm having a baby, <laughs> and I'm so excited. And no. I... I'm having a baby. It's, but it's mine too. It's my, I'm gonna be an auntie. It's about me. Anyway, um. Okay. Oh my God. What the hell are you doing in here? We need to talk, Chris. Well, now's not a great time. Well, it's never a good time, is it? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? You've abandoned us. Your family. Abandoned? I just made a video about you less than two weeks ago. First it's two weeks, then it's a month. Then you never see us again. No, you're not. You're like family, okay? But I'm a creator. I need to evolve, okay? I have other channels. Okay, I'm writing a movie. I'm making a movie. Is it about me? No. Then I don't care. Oh. Myself and company just want you to promise you're going to continue to have us in your content. Or else. Okay, is that a threat? I'll leave it up for your interpretation. Okay. <sighs> oh. This is not a day! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Everybody's at Coachella while well, we're at Couchella, but we're gonna judge their outfits because there's nothing better to do and I have no fashion sense. Let's go. Okay, first up we got Dixie D'Amaleo. Uh, it looks like she borrowed Justin Bieber shorts. And the top is cute. We got Charlie D'Amalio. This looks like an outfit I would have seen in a magazine in grade six and really wanted. Um, she's working it though. Haley Beaver giving us an absolute 2% max effort with this life stealer wife beater she's wearing and these pants that she probably raided from her husband's closet or her grandpa's, I can't tell. Bretman Rock looks like he bought an outfit for Coachella and then put it in the dryer for a little too long and somehow did the opposite process with the boots, but it's still cute, he's still slay. Harry Styles cosplayed as Animal from the Muppets, which is cool. If I had a quarter for every time Harry Styles did not wear a shirt under his outfit, I would probably have enough quarters to make this current outfit. Lizzo absolutely slaying in this bubblegum realness. She ate all the crumbs. I would give her my firstborn child for these pants and just for her in general. This looks like a sold separately outfit you would have to pay extra money for for your Barbie doll. Rosalia absolutely looking fire in this flowy outfit and it's cool that she actually performed after getting LASIK surgery. Apparently this is Amanda Steele. I don't know her, but if there's ever a shoelace shortage, I know who'll be stealing all the laces. Um, this woman is perfect and she cannot do any wrong. Oh my god, hey! Hey! So good to see you. You look so good. Oh, thank you. You too! What's up, miss? What's up, buddy? Oh! oh. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Oh, you smell nice. Yeah, new cologne. You like that? Yeah, I like that. Oh. You been working out? Yeah, check this out. Look at that. Oh, shit! I gotta start calling you Humpty Dumpty, may I? Now get in there. Oh, yeah. As hard as a rock, right? <sighs> hey, Mom, can I ask you a question? Just ask. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here, too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes, maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fools! <laughs> It's May 5th! Yeah, cause you'd be expecting it on April 1st. 
So... It... Who put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. Hey, I like you. Oh, hello, I, I like you too. We should hang out. I would like that very much. Let's hang out. You're so great. You are also so great. We should we should make this a thing. A what? A thing. Like, like, I would be with you and you would be with me and we would just, just see each other, you know? Because we like each other and we think we each other are great. I hear what you're saying. And... No. Oh, do you, you don't like me anymore? No, I do a lot and I depend on you a lot and you're a great person and I really like hanging out with you. Okay, but you, you don't, you don't want to be with me. No, but I want to hang out still, you know? So you want to be with me, but you don't want to be with me? Yeah, like we're not exclusive, but like, you know? No. Oh no, are they gonna take the drugs to hide it from the cops? I don't know. What are drugs? They turn your brain into mush. But they make trees look really cool. Really? No, stop. Oh my god, are they gonna put the drugs up their ass? I don't know. What's an ass? It's a donkey, Riley. We're gonna put drugs in a donkey? No, it's another word for your butt. What is? Ass. Can you not? So a donkey is a butt? No, ass means donkey and butt, and butt means ass. But Exactly. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Can't even enjoy a movie. What's up, her donkey? Close enough. Selena, I don't know how to tell you this, but Chris is hanging out with some other chick. What? Oh my god. Hey. Whoa, you gotta read this. Okay, uh. You done? Yeah! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> A man is dead, Chris. Yo. Oh, I didn't read it. Okay, everybody's been using this filter, and I need to see what I look like <laughs> when I'm old. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I, I look like my Grammy! Wait, why am I crying? I'm okay with that. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment in a few hours, but I'd love to. Cool. Ooh, and after we can sneak in a lunch at that new restaurant that just opened. Ooh, yes. Are you going to have enough time, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Can't. I have an appointment. Oh, bummer. Is it soon? Five o'clock. It's 11 a.m. Exactly. You have six hours before your appointment. Yeah, I don't get what you're not understanding. You have a lot of time to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours and do nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just having like a little small, little miniature mental breakdown moment and I just have the overwhelming feeling to change my entire appearance. Starting with my hair, but I really like it. I've had it for a few months. And I feel like if I change it, I'll regret it. But I need you to either convince me to keep it or convince me to change it. And if I do change it, to change it to what? Help. Get out! I order you! No, no George. Charlotte! You cannot force me away. I will not go. I command it! Go! I will stay! I command it! Please, Charlotte, please go. No. How to dress to attract a man, a tutorial. Rule number one, make sure your hair is always long and lustrous and never put up. Rule number two, make sure to show a little skin, especially those stems, ladies. Rule number three, footwear should be dainty and delicate. Rule number four, show off that waist at all times. Rule number five, always have a pleasant expression on your face. I promise you will attract a man. Oh. <laughs> My name is John. I'll be your server today. I was wondering if you know what you'd like to order? Uh, yeah. I have a question about the menu, please. The man I please is none of the business.
Peter, the horse is here. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. Wouldn't have forgotten if I was sleeping with you. But look at this, Jesus, and look <laughs> at this self! Shit. Shit. Shit.